Okay, so we're gonna show you tonight how to transfer your design to the actual canvas using carbon paper. This carbon paper can be purchased from craft stores, Amazon, Walmart, shiny on one side and it's flat on the other. So you need to make sure that the flat side is up and the shiny side is down because it's definitely the shiny side that's going to actually end up transferring the ink to your canvas. Okay, now you're gonna put the shiny side down and you're going to place your tracer on top of it and get it located exactly where you want it. Then you're gonna find a pencil or a pen or the back of a brush even. The little uh, round end of a brush works really well of any shape brush, any size brush. And then you're gonna hold it down, you're gonna start tracing. And you're gonna trace around the every thick line that you see. And that way, every line will be transferred onto the canvas. Now this is not necessarily erasable, but everything that we are outlining will be painted. When we're done with this, we will also go over all the lines with a black Sharpie or any kind of black pen. So I'm gonna go around every single thick line, even not even every single line. Um, if, if you are good at freehanding, you don't need to do this at all. And um, you don't have to put every single line if you remember where the picture uh, is or you look at the original, which I will also have up when we paint it. So we're just gonna go around all the lines so that I can show you what it looks like when the whole project has been traced. I will put the traceable online for you to print and copy. I've got this on a 12 by 12 canvas and I will put the tracer on for an eight by 10. So it can be printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Just go over every single one here. Now as my pencil dies down or uh, dulls down a little bit, it actually starts making thicker lines on the canvas from the tracer, which is fine. Because like I said, we're gonna paint over that as well. almost done here. I did not do all of the hearts because we can remember just by looking at the, the picture where they go. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the tracer and there you have it. And there's your outline. So I did not complete all the hearts as you see or any of the lines, the little dots. We will fill those in as we paint it because those will be covered up. I'm gonna use a Sharpie and I'm gonna outline, as I mentioned, every line, except for the little pink flowers on top of the cactus. We don't wanna outline those because they do not have a black outline on the original. And I think it looks better without the black outline. But everything else will get outlined and filled. Okay, we're going here. The little cactus on the left. And this really is one of the easiest ways to get, um, get your picture transferred over to a canvas. Now, when we paint it, we will paint over the Sharpie, which is fine because you'll still be able to see the Sharpie through the paint. And then you'll see at the end of when we paint it, at the end of it, we will go over the black Sharpie lines with, pla with black paint. Um, just to sharpen it up, make it look good, make it shiny. And we will fill in the hearts and the dots and the stripes as we go. And all the highlighted parts whenever we paint it. So this is pretty easy to do. Sorry about the shaking on the camera. I have it, my camera on a uh, on a little arm that actually hangs onto my table. And my table is plywood over a pool table. 
so it's not exactly really strong, so it does shake a little bit. Okay, let me look at the picture, make sure we're doing the right thing here. I was missing some lines. Just to kind of, this is more of a guide, and if you don't like where the lines are, you can always paint over it, and I will show you how to do that as well, and we'll make a few changes to the painting when we do it. The little green re put into place. And I'm very excited. We'll be, we will be doing this Thursday night live at 6 p.m. Central. Okay, so I think we're all done here. I'm not going to do the hearts because the um, we will we'll paint those in as we go after we paint the the actual picture. So there's your original, and that's all the outlines. And here's the outline version. And we're ready to paint. We are ready to rock and roll. Thank y'all. Please let me know if you have any questions.